Sunday will be the last of five days celebrating the life of the late Senator John McCain as he will be laid to rest at the U.S. Naval Academy Cemetery in Annapolis, Maryland. U.S. Naval Academy ceremony details on Sunday, September 2nd, at approximately 11 a.m. Arizona time, a private memorial service will take place in the U.S. Naval Academy Chapel in Annapolis, Maryland. Senator McCain's family and friends, along with the U.S. Naval Academy Class of 1958, Naval and Military Leaders, and the Brigade of Midshipmen have been invited to the ceremony. At approximately 10.45 a.m. Arizona time, Senator McCain's motorcade will arrive. The casket will be carried into the U.S. Naval Academy Chapel by Navy body bearers and placed on a bier. The Navy Band and Navy Ceremonial Guard will provide a formation consistent with Arlington National Cemetery honors for retired Captain. The program hymn, Amazing Grace, led by U.S. Navy Choir, invocation by Rear Admiral Margaret G. Kibben, Chief of Chaplains of the Navy, Reading of Psalm Chapter 107 verses 23 to 32, by Mark Saltar, Tribute by Senator Lindsey Graham, Tribute by General David Petraeus, Hymn, Faith of Our Fathers, by the U.S. Navy Choir, Tribute by Jack McCain, Reading of Ephesians Chapter 6 verses 10 to 18 by Doug McCain, Final Blessing by Rear Admiral Kibben, Hymn, Eternal Father, and Recessional. Following the ceremony, Senator McCain will be carried by the U.S. Navy body bearers and placed on the Kaisen. A procession will then form and proceed to the final resting place at the U.S. Naval Academy Cemetery. Senator McCain will be removed from the Kaisen and honors will be rendered. The procession will proceed to the final resting place, where a private interment will be conducted by the U.S. Navy chaplain. Paul Bearers Commander Everett Alvarez, Jr. USN Rat, friend, founder, president and chief executive officer of Alvarez & Associates, former deputy director of the Peace Corp, deputy administrator of the Veterans Administration, chairman of the CARES Commission, prisoner of war, and veteran of the Vietnam War. Ben Dominic, son-in-law, publisher of The Federalist. Joseph Donahue, friend, legislative director in the office of Senator John McCain, served on Senator McCain's staff since 1988. Colonel John Fair, USAF Rhett, friend, teacher and principal at elementary schools in Los Angeles after serving in the Air Force for 28 years, prisoner of war and veteran of the Vietnam War. Captain Frank Gamboa, USN Rhett, friend and Senator McCain's roommate at the U.S. Naval Academy, founded Gamboa International Corporation after 30 years of service in the Navy, first Mexican-American to command a U.S. Warship in the rank of Commander and Captain, Vice President of the U.S. Naval Academy Class of 1958. Michael Harper, friend and neighbor, federal prosecutor in the Department of Justice, former associate at Jones Day Law Firm. Rear Admiral Thomas Lynch, USN Rhett, friend, executive chairman of the Board of Advisors of New Day USA, trustee of the Naval Academy Foundation, former superintendent of the U.S. Naval Academy, and commander of the Eisenhower Battle Group in Operation Desert Shield. General James Mattis, USMC Rhett, friend, U.S. Secretary of Defense, former commander of U.S. Central Command, commander of U.S. Joint Forces Command, commanding general of the 1st Marine Division in Iraq, commander of the 7th Marine Regiment and 1st Marine Expeditionary Force in Afghanistan, commanded 1st Battalion, 7th Marines in Operation Desert Storm. Andrew McCain, Jr., grandson. Andrew McCain, Sr., son, president of Hensley Beverage Co. Caroline McCain, granddaughter. Douglas McCain, USN Rhett, son. American Airlines pilot and retired U.S. Navy pilot. Margaret McCain, granddaughter. Shep McCain, grandson. Ronald Perelman, friend, founder, chairman and chief executive officer of McAndrews. John Wright, friend, vice president of Jones International Group, senior fellow at the Atlantic Council, formerly staff member of the 9-11 Commission, staff director of the Senate Commerce, Science and Transportation Committee, legislative director in the office of Senator John McCain.
Admiral John Richardson, Chief of Naval Operations, formerly Director of the Naval Nuclear Propulsion Program, Commander of Naval Submarine Forces.